Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight we're going to be reviewing uh, one from the Fullers and Friends box uh, that I got from Retro's. Um, so six different beers in the box. Uh, retails for about 12 quid. I got it for a tenner uh, from Retro's. I don't know if anybody else sells it. And basically this is the one. It's Matariki New Zealand Saison. Uh, brewed Fuller's and oh my god, my eyes. It's either too much beer or I'm getting old. Manchester Marble Brewery, right? Yeah, I've never heard of them. Uh, New, New Zealand Saison, five point Jesus, eight percent volume. Belgium meets New Zealand in this zesty, spicy ale. Using wheat, oats, rye, and spelt alongside a quarter of kiwi hops. Not sure what that means. We've created a beer that's both complex and very, very drinkable. Not certainly sounds a mouthful, if anything. So on on that the ratebeer.com, the aggregated website, it's got a rating of 3.40 out of 5 from 95 ratings. So, from an aggregated website, you know, they've all, everyone's got their own agendas. Uh, it's not just one particular reviewer. So, that's a, I would say that's a good review from them. And here it says Wallonia meets South Island, New Zealand. But on there it says something different altogether. An earthy spice and bready complexity from a grain bill featuring wheat, oats, rye and spelt. I thought I'd, I thought I'd <laughs> put that wrong. Or combined with a distinctive peppery yeast character and bright hot notes of zesty lime, gooseberry and tropical fruit. So, you know, it sounds nice. Right. Let's give it a pour. I've got a brew on in the background, the home brew, and uh, it's, you can hear that bubbling away. If you wanted to know what the bubbling away was. Or, also, got the allergen oven on making dinner. So, there's a pour. It's a nice straw colour, looks more like a lager than anything. Straw colour, good lacing and carbonation. Uh, nice white, f f you know, bit of a frothy white head on it. Ooh, now that. Lovely citrusy, you know, you really can smell the gooseberry and that um, grapefruits. Ooh, that is nice. Lovely aroma. And I've got to say, whoops, every one of these Fullers and Friends that I've tried so far has been uh, pretty damn decent. Not been any, uh, you know, dodgy ones in the box. So good for good for Fullers really because obviously, and good for the individual brewers because obviously whichever part of the country or the world we're from, we don't know beers that exit. No, no one's going to know, you know. There could be beers that are brewed down the road that you wouldn't know about. You know, there's so many craft beer brewers these days. It is outstanding. I mean, we had the Robin Hood Beer Festival in Nottingham a short time ago, uh, October time. And I'm going through the list of beer, the brewers. And in Nottingham, there's a load. And I've never even heard of them. So it just shows you. And unless you visit lots and lots of different pubs. Don't really go out that much drinking in pubs. Can't afford to. And um, so, you know, you don't see it. And plus, I don't really want to do a review in a pub. You'd look like an idiot. And you'd probably get the mickey took out of you, you know. So, doing it to terms, all right. So, colour on it. Funny, a different light. Um, it looks like it's gone a bit hazy now. And it's gone from a straw to, it looks like, a you know, a golden slash light amber pour. So... Still that lovely, um, very citrusy, very oppy on the mouth feel, and as it goes down, still tasting it now, you know, the hops and citrus together. So from, from a review off the internet, a murky and light yellow beer, her head is big and almost white. Aroma as fruitiness of citrus, 
also tropical nuts of sweet papaya, spiciness from the yeast, complex and enjoyable. Taste as citrus, spiciness of pepper, dry and grain maltiness, sunflowers, medium bodied and quite high carbonation, just as it should be. Complex and sophisticated. Good review, 3.8. So another review, 3.3. Uh, pores clear light yellow with medium with white head. Wheat, citrus, spices, medium body, average carbonation through to finish. Short but sweet. Another one, 3.2. Clear golden colour, tiny white head. Aroma as Belgian yeast character. Fruitiness, apple and white pepper. Light bodied, crisp, fruitiness, pepper. Bubble gum in the flavour, grapefruity. Is it not amazing that the difference people get from the beers? You know... Uh, our noses pick out certain things and sometimes it's our own interpretation of what we're smelling at, you know, the aroma. So, last one, 3.2. Uh, unclear golden in colour with a whitish head. Mild spiciness, fruity sweetness and a bit of floral notes in the aroma. Spicy, slightly yeasty and fruity notes in taste. Some floral notes here too. I have to agree, yeah, very, it, it is, it's, it's a very nice beer, it's, it's very hazy. I, I do like this, it's, it's citrusy, it's hoppy, but in, 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 in the amounts where it tastes good in both areas, but it's not trying to ram it down your throat, you know. It's not trying to say, oh, we're the king of hops, and you're drinking it, and it's like, oh my God, I can't drink this. You know, at the moment, anyway. So tonight, I've looked on uh, Facebook, didn't realise there were so many groups out there. And uh, I've joined um, a beer reviewers group, and a YouTube uh, uh, review group, and... Uh, just to get my reviews out there, just to see general consensus, see if I'm talking out my backside, and uh, and you know, just to see what what what's the situation, whether I, whether I like it or not, or whether they're too too hurtful comments. We'll sort of see, you know, because sometimes I, I get to the stage with Facebook where um, I'm at that stage where I'm going to corner off Facebook. There's a work side of things, and there's a home, family, friends side of things. And those two are going to be pulled apart, which means that everybody in my present um, workplace that's on my Facebook feed, bar one person, the person I actually work with daily, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle and say, right, that's it. Every one of them on, from work, unfriend all of them not because I'm un not being friends with them but because I want clarity between the two you know never the, never the two should mix um, unless you know it's somebody who's a really good friend Lot of, I, I do find that social media can bring problems to your doorstep and bring stresses to your, your home life that should be left at work you know, especially if that's the environment. Different workplaces, different uh, situations. Some workplaces, you're in an environment where, you know, you get on with everybody, and it's great. I found that at Sainsbury's. Uh, where I am at the moment, it's not quite the same, and the needs, it was the same on City Council, and when I worked there, and as a gardener, and I feel that that's definitely the way to go. But anyway, back to the booze. Sure. So the waffle now. Yes, this is very nice. Just the right amount of floral and citrus. The right amount of hops. Making for an extremely pleasant uh, beer. Because I find with these, that I can't score a lot of these ridiculously high. Because the... You, you have, for me, a top 10 beer is a beer I'm going to drink once, I want to drink again, and it's a beer that I will come back to very regularly. That's a top 10 beer, you know, world class taste, 
and I found a lot of beers where you drink them and I can't even take the first pint, you know, or the first 330 mils. So there's no chance they're ever going to make it into my top 10. Obviously, my top 10 is different to others. And the good thing about a beer reviewer is this, that I can be a beer reviewer in Nottingham and have beers in Nottingham that people down the road in uh, Stoke will never try and you know all around the country there's reviewers and then there's people in Belgium and all them places so you know it's great because we all see the beer reviews and you're not really stepping on other people's toes because yeah the people, there's going to be a lot of where we're all reviewing the same the big the big beers but there's a lot of beers that you're not going to be reviewing the same as plus it's interesting to see other people's reviews and see how they go on you know Oh, now that was perla. So, I'll go over it with you. Um, looks are good, a bit hazy, but that's not a problem. Um, good head, nice looks, good carbonation, good lacing, good aroma, great taste. <laughs> Nothing to fault about it. The only fault I could say is it came in a 330ml bottle. But hey -oh, you know. Uh, very happy with these followers and friends. You know, um, so glad I bought it. Range Rose was the only place that I could get it from. I bet you can get it on Fuller's website. Um, or you could probably go to the Matariki, the Manchester um, Summit Brewery, Marble Brewery. You could go there. I will actually tag these into the post at some stage when I put the review up. You could go there and, uh, you know, let them... Uh, see it from my viewpoint, you know, whether they take an interest, you know, I suppose they get so many reviews these days. The likes of YouTube has exploded, you know, in that respect. Everyone's trying to go do a niche, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I'm just happy to try different beers, if I'm being honest. I'd like to get a bit bigger, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It's been six months, so, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, talking to a camera is weird, though. Uh, so, out of five, mm. This is definitely a great beer. It's not quite top 10 material, I've got to be honest. For my top 10. So, out of 5, I'm going to give it a 4.55 out of 5. A very close contender though. Damn nice beer. Well worth trying. Thanks for watching. See you soon.